true, there's just not enough days in the week to do everything that you want to do. I'm Cade, and I'm 17 and a half. And I don't reckon you could see Pinaru in one day, unless you're driving through. If you live somewhere, it's okay to be a tourist in your own backyard. I do it. I love to go camping. It's the best. I love testing my abilities out in the bush. Oh, it's a tent. It's not my like survivor, it's real. This is where all the Christmas decorations live. Oh, you know, I'd like to call myself an explorer, but I wouldn't survive a day in the bush if it wasn't for my dad. And he, he's taught me everything I need to know to survive in the bush. In this part of Australia, though, people wander off and they don't come back because they don't know how to navigate. Oh, the bush can be a dangerous place. Snakes, they can be a bit of a problem but they can sense your vibrations though, so if you stomp around hard, that'll scare them away. They're as scared as, of you as you are of them. It is a dangerous place. I mean, there's bull ants, three-corner jacks. You could sprain your ankle on a, on a stick or something. You've got to keep that in the back of your mind, you know? I bring a swag with me as well. They're really good, because you can just take them in with you and stuff. Definitely the hardest thing is to remember to pack everything you need to bring. Sometimes you just, you know, you forget something accidentally. That's all part of the camping experience. For me, it's always the same story. As usual, I've forgotten me matches. If you're gonna go out there and do this sort of thing, you have to be able to utilize your survival skills. Just have a look around and just let your primal instincts just take over and they'll guide you. Well, if you do that, nature will provide. My dad's taught me well. I reckon I could survive anywhere. <laughs>